Alrighty guys, what is up? It is Gemini Jets Fan 1 back with another video. And today we're going to be doing a review of the Gemini Jets 200 JSX ERJ145. To start off, we're just going to do a basic review, uh, overview of the box here. We have the standard Gemini Jets 200 on the front flap, as well as the picture of the aircraft, the item number, um, another Gemini Jets logo. Yeah, we have the front again. Back just has the reels it gets and a little bit of information about Gemini Jets where you can purchase them and things like that. Um, the inside flap has nothing unlike the 1400s, which is kind of a bummer, but I believe some of the special releases of the 1200s have a little bit of information on them. For example, the US Airways A320 Hudson River. Uh, Plane. That one has a little bit of information on it. But other than that, let's get started with the model. Up first, we have the L1 boarding door, as well as some JSX decals right before the door, and uh, extra antennas and things like that. Past the boarding door, we have the X over the window, and at the bottom, you can see the antenna. As we stretch along the fuselage, we have the beautiful white, we have an exit door, and then we have the JSX logo on the engine, as well as another X on the tail. Over top, we have a couple um, lights and antennas, as you can see, very good detail. Turns to the front so you can get a front view. The ERJ is one of my favorite aircraft, so that's primarily one of the reasons I picked this model up, as well as um, being a fan of the semi-private um, JSS experience. I have not been on a flight with them yet, but I hope to do that in the future. They are primarily based on the West Coast with serving flights out of California, and I believe they are slowly making their way to the East Coast with flights leaving out of Dallas to Miami, if I'm not mistaken. So they are making their way around the country. Um, they also are a 1-1 configuration in most of their aircraft, meaning that they don't have um, two seats on one side. It is a rather small plane, so that works perfect in my opinion. I would love um, to fly on an ERJ not fully seated and just to see if the experience is any different. But um, we have the same amount of detail on the other side, not bad. Give you some better views. There's a over wing exit for the wing. Come this way. There we go, some better wing views. Give you a look at the underbelly. There is a little bit of blemish, if you can see right by the stand hole. That's the only defect I see about this model. Um, other than that, nice landing gear. Very nice. Can't complain. Here we got another tail view again for you. Um, if I were you, I would get this model. One, just because it's not a typical airline. It is a neat um, addition to the aviation community in terms of services. So... If you're looking for something to spice up your 1-200 collection, I would definitely recommend this model. Got some more detail. We got the stabilizers, two engines. We got the front nose gear. Some decal on it. Can't really see. I'll try to zoom in for you. See if I can see that wording. I believe it just says ERJ-145. I don't know what the numbers or letters are right before that, but other than that, a beautiful model. If you have a chance to cop one of these, I would definitely do so. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.